Hi folks, I'm Tanner Reed, Product Design Evangelist at Autodesk, and today I'm going to be taking you through some basic functionality of Fusion 360's new animation workspace to animate your model and save it out as an MP4 file. And we're going to be doing this using a pretty basic data set of this sort of lake topography with some laser cut pieces of wood and some blue resin. And we want to animate it as sort of an exploded video, and I'll also take you through the process of really quickly exporting that video as a GIF file using Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do is exploit out these layers and hide the lake. And we'll do that in the animation environment you can see from the top here. And in this environment, you'll see a new set of tools on the toolbar. Feel free to explore those a little bit, um, but for this video, we're mostly going to go over transforming them as well as visibility and uh, view. So from here, you'll see a few storyboards. You can have multiple per file, and you can add them with a plus sign here. But basically, each storyboard works by having a certain point of time where your model changes somehow. So at any given point, there's a state of the model, and it will go through and animate that for you. We're at the beginning here, so I'm just going to set up how I wanted it to look at the start of the video by zooming in a little bit. And next, I'll pick a certain point in time, let's say six seconds. And from there, I'll change where I want it to be at six seconds. So I'll put it at the home view, and you'll see that change has shown up as a little icon there of a camera. And so as we go through time, it'll move it to that point that I set at six seconds. But if I didn't like that, I can always go through and refine it and change it a little bit, and that change is then going to propagate back. And still at six seconds, it's going to be whatever I had uh, most recently updated at six seconds. Next, I want to hide this lake that's in the middle here. And you would do this by clicking on, you know, a light bulb, say, for the resin component. But I wanted to do it at a certain point in time. So at three seconds, I can go in and hide the resin. And you'll see here now it's gone off of the model. And if I go back and forth, you'll see it have sort of a start change from being on and then off. But I want it to be a little bit smoother, more of a transition, like a fading out. And so I can take this action and actually spread it out a certain amount of time, let's say from one second to three seconds. And now if you go back, you can see that the lake is slowly fading away out of the model as we go through the timeline. So the final thing I want to do is explode this model out. You can do an auto explode, but I'm just using the transform components tool to go through and move the tops and bottoms up and down and then move the middle layers up and down as well. Um, you can do this different ways, so kind of feel free to explore that a little bit. Um, but this is a pretty simple model, it's four pieces, and I can explode them relatively quickly manually, and, um, and I can have a little bit more uh, control there as well. So I'm going to explode these out, and as they go, you'll see in the end, we have sort of a, a pretty good video shaping up here. Um, we can start from the beginning, kind of go through, but let's say at the end of the day, I want to just sort of edit or tweak those changes that I made. I can always go through to any of these points move them in and out, change them in relation to, you know, where things are showing, where they're not, and how the view is changing. Maybe add a little bit of a second on the end here where the view stops changing so we can see them explode more. And then we end up with our final video that we like. And that's it. So once it's at this point, we can export it out. I can save it as an MP4 video using the publish tool at the top here. You can make it any sort of setting you want. I want this to ultimately be a GIF for the internet, so I'm making it rather small. And by clicking on OK, I send it to the uh, the screen lets you save, and from there you can save it wherever you need to. Now in Photoshop, I can open it up, and when I open this video file, it's going to open it as sort of like layers um, of the video. But all I want to do here is go straight to File and click Save for Web, and that's going to save it as a GIF file, basically converting it to a GIF. And you can change all of your settings here that you would want, and you can even view over on the left here a little uh, a little text that shows you how big the, fi the file size will be. But um, the biggest thing for me is to loop it forever. You can change your looping options. And saving it will then take you to the dialog box. You can then post that GIF online, uh, make it on your website, or feel free to even put the original video file up on your next Fusion 360 gallery project. Hope that was helpful. Shoot me questions and comments at Tanner S. Reed on Twitter. And be sure to check out Fusion 360's learning site for official tutorials and more learning content.